Let me just press the so this is how long? This this uh, this is last Monday, right? Yeah, last Monday. Was that a, a, a big hole? Did she dig it's a big hole? It's quite deep, around just around the size of my the the length of my index finger. So last Monday, that means uh, how many days ago? Uh, for the first time she dig, uh, right? Yeah, for the first time. At Ten years of age. So the best is uh, you get a, a big box of soil uh, inside your house, uh, so so you can dig overnight and the eggs are this one way. Uh, the other way, of course. Today is what date? It may two. Mm. Okay, what happened to this? Uh, she's not laying eggs. Eight hundred thirteen. How old is she? Ten, eleven years old. They're quite small, you know. For the ten, eleven olds, years old. Then the other one? Eh? The other one is a male. The, nothing wrong, ah. Nothing wrong, just a regular check. Oh, okay. So we we just talk about the female first, huh? Mm. How do you know he's laying eggs, ah? Because she was uh like digging. Where? Digging where? Uh, like she was using her back legs trying to dig the floor. Uh, uh, when, when was that? It was oh. around one week ago. So I brought her down to the garden there. Correct. And she she started digging the soil. But then she dug, uh, she dug for around two hours plus mm -hmm. but nothing. She just continued digging. So. How would that be tight? Uh, for the past four days it's like not very good. So don't have her? Uh? No appetite. No appetite. But this morning she ate quite a lot. Yesterday the whole day she didn't eat anything. How do you house her in an aquarium or in a in the oh, tank? In a, a big tank. With water? Yeah, with water. Sometimes they do lay eggs in the water, you know. No, but she doesn't. She ever laid egg before? No, it's my first time seeing her. Right? At this, uh, what age now? You said this now. Ten years old. Are you sure or not? Ten years is quite small, you know. You got it from a small one, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's pyramiding, uh, that means. You, you feed a lot of protein, is it? What do and you the feed? Pellets. Pellets only? Yeah, the pellets only. When she's not eating, I try to feed her carrots to see whether she eats or not. No meat? La. No meat. But this looks like, uh, I mean, the length of the shell, uh, it looks like 10, that's why. That's how you see how old? The 11. 10, 10 to 11. 11. Possible, it's possible. So it doesn't grow much. Was there any sunlight? Yeah, because we put them next to the window where they get the morning sun. Mm. Yeah, and 30 grams is, is not uh, not very heavy. So we are doing x ray first, huh, in okay. this case. Did you just keep it? Put it zero. Yeah. Mm. Can I? Uh, come, come in. This should be less, uh, 700 over. 560 grams only. The males are usually smaller size. Uh. Also 10 years old? So around 7, seven or 8, 7. Yeah, bring in the uh, 7, uh, so the other is 10. Also quite good size. Uh. Check. Are you sure it's a male? Yeah. Also a bit of pyramiding. Now males normally the claws are quite long, you know. This is a bit long so yeah. Let me see how the claws. They are quite long. Yeah. Males normally below there's a concavity, yeah, the concave. Yeah. But it looks flat now. Yeah. Somebody told you it's a male. Yeah. Claws. Not only claws, here, here, here. Here should be concave. Not flat, you see. This one looks quite flat to me. Oh. It's quite small compared to the. Let me see. Mm. Is it a bit concave? Oh, let me see. You can see from the flat surface. Is there any concave? 
connectivity. So it doesn't matter because some of them are small. But the nails definitely are a bit long, yeah. But actually the nails are longer than this, you know. For the male. Uh. The claws are much longer. These are also fit pellets. Yeah. But you can see also. Uh. They, they, they live together or they don't live together? Separately. They don't live together. So there's no chance of mating. Uh. No. Yeah, the claws looks long, yeah, this one. But not as long as some of the the male, so. Every time it's good, that means it's good, uh, mm. overall. Every time it's good, right? Mm. 560 grams, this one. 560 grams, so okay. Yeah. So you have a basking light or something? Or, yeah, yeah. or warm light? You still have? Yes, sir. What light is it? Is it ultraviolet? No, I, uh, I don't have a basking light. It's just the. Uh, because it's next to the window, so that's the morning sun. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so, so it does have light now. Is that direct sunlight? Or yeah, direct? direct sunlight. For how long? Uh, usually I just. Because things they are there, so there's a bit of shade as well. So usually when I think they are. They will go dying, hide. They, yeah, oh. they will hide. Yeah, they got drying. Uh, they got dry. drying. Uh, so, the, so there's no shell rot, right? Have you got shell rot in the past? Don't have, right? Uh, Those white spots? No, no. Don't have. Uh. So pallets 20 per day. So a bit overfed. Uh. So I should cut down this one? Normally, they, they, when they're old, uh, normally every day. Uh. I mean, they can be alternate days. Uh. 10 year old. Uh, three years later, digging the soil and the, and the hind legs. Last week, so the owner thought that uh, she's about to lay eggs, which is true, as you can see. There are three eggs only, luckily. So I have 15. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the one where the x ray was taken today. See, she lost appetite. So I will give oxytocin injection two times today and tomorrow. Owner was supposed to find the box with the soy, a big box with soy quite deep enough for her to lay eggs. Some of them do lay eggs in the water. Uh, in Singapore, apartments is difficult to have gardens. And uh, so, you need a box in a dark place. And we'll see whether they lay eggs or not. So this is the x-ray. And uh, this is a very beautiful x-ray. Actually, you can see three eggs. Two big ones and one small one. Today is May 22017. This morning, the younger brought a 10 year old female terrapin for examination because he suspect that she had difficulty in laying eggs. She was scratching the soil and paddling in a, with her hind legs. She, did, she digs a hole in the soil, but uh, couldn't lay eggs for the past seven days. Then it rained, so she didn't leave the terrapin out in the soil. After two hours, then there was no eggs. So she came today, so I suggested an x-ray. X-ray showed definitely there were three eggs inside. You can see in the video. And uh, so since she came rather early as compared to other owners who who might come rather late after about maybe three or four weeks of uh, egg binding she came early and uh, so about uh, three hours ago we gave oxytocin IM and as you can see this therapy about 800 60 kg, uh, 60, 860 grams, and given oxytocin, two international units, IM, uh, three eggs were laid. Okay, now you have the eggs. This is the, as shown in the x rays, this would be one of them. This one of them, the, the bigger one, the second one. And then there's will be this one, the smaller one, and then the broken ones, the broken pieces should be the third one. Either that or 
the broken pieces could be the shell the shell of the two eggs laid so we don't really uh, say that uh, three eggs are laid but definitely two eggs are laid and uh, the other one looks like shells egg shells I would say yeah. so the only way to confirm is by x-ray but uh, we will wait and see till, till tomorrow now this is uh, a case where the owner didn't delay too long case of egg binding which has been uh, treated by oxytocin and which results in successful laying of at least two eggs as you can see here I put it here in the water so there was really no need to to uh, buy sand or soy for her to lay eggs but uh, is there another one? that's a question let me check here this looks like shells, uh, broken shells yeah. Shell. Now these shells could have come from, uh, as you can see, could be come from one of the bigger eggs. Uh. See, it seems to fit this one. And uh, this this terrapin is stays by herself, so there's no chance of the male fertilizing the eggs. And. Uh, so I would suspect that uh, we wait till tomorrow, see whether there be another egg late. There might be a, another one medium size between the big one and the small one. Normally two, two injections of oxytocin are given and uh, this must be done early. For example, about seven days on showing signs of egg binding. That means difficulty in passing eggs, and not wait till three weeks, four weeks later. And uh, usually, two injections are recommended. Papaya vets. Egg binding in red ear sliders, ten year old female. Singapore. May 2, 2017. A successful response from injection of oxytocin to induce egg laying and uh, definitely two eggs were laid. Now, from what I see, there are only two eggs laid, but uh, the other ones are actually shells, uh, egg shells. So these eggs are quite solid, like, like stones like that. Not like chicken eggs where you can find that uh, the, the, when the egg shell is broken. Uh, this one is quite soft. You can actually cr uh, crack this one. Uh. Quite short, so. And there seems to be some egg white inside this shell. So maybe three eggs have been laid. It's hard to say unless we X-ray the Vets May two two zero one seven.